Hey everyone, Shammy here, and today I will do an infinite flight tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be covering how to file a flight plan, and, and then we'll be doing the pushback and then taxi, and then we'll do the takeoff and cruise, and then before descending, we will do our descent preps. In this case, we will have to go over our arrival route and our approaches to a runway. Then we do the descent, and then we do the approach, and then land. Then after we land, we taxi to the gate and then shut down the aircraft. So when you load into the simulator, uh, first thing you want to do is turn on your position lights so you know that the aircraft is powered on. Well, it's always, unless if you have the A320 and the modern aircraft on infinite flight. Uh, no smoking signs are optional. If you want to keep them on, go for it. But I'll use it as chimes, so... It could be a way to communicate with the um, flight attendants. And make sure you have a flight plan filed. Um, I use SimBrief, and I highly recommend you do it. Because you get, like, not only your flight plan, but you also get your um, your fuel, and passenger, and cargo load. And seatbelt signs are on after you refuel. So, because in real life... Um, after you're done refueling, you'd have to have the seatbelt signs on. Um, now we're go done going over that. I will show you how to make your flight plane using SimBrief. So as you can see here, this, I am using SimBrief.com for getting my flight plan. So first things first, you have to fill out your flight info. Um, right now we're flying Southwest Airlines. Um, we're doing. Here's our flight number. I'm using it based off of the time I'm recording this. So October, October, and then the eighth, Spooktober. Um, then we enter our airport code. In this case, we are departing from San Francisco, and we are arriving at Los Angeles. Um, and then here's our alternative, Ontario. So if you click here, you can see the METAR. Um, so right here we have the date October 8th at this time of Zulu this has been a while because right now it is it's 20 Zulu this is 1856 and the winds are 050 at 03 we're not going to use any wind conditions I'm going to use my own runway which I have set for 28 left so close that same for this and that. Now we have our aircraft. Uh, we have this long list of planes we can choose. We're flying the 700 because I don't have the pro sub yet. Um, here we have some optional stuff. Like stuff that you don't really need. Um, climb profile. We'll do 250 then 280. Then we accelerate to 0.78 Mach. Cost index um, varies on airline, but it is not really needed. But we'll have to, we'll look at its flight log, and then we have our descent profile. Same thing, about the same. It's just two eighty. Um, fuel factor. I don't know what it does, but I don't I don't use that. Registration. So I'm using it based off of the actual registration shown in on infinite flight heart livery. So we have that. Fin number. We have the same thing for this. And I just put the cell call code for IF or uh, for infinite flight. Um I don't fill those because I always I suck at timing. So we depart runway two eight left and then we arrive two five left. We're expecting a visual because the visibility is going to be clear because I'm not going to use any stuff. Here's our altitude, our cruise altitude. I'm expecting flight level 390 because I previously done a flight. And then we have our passengers. We set I just set them to auto. This is to auto. Zero fuel weight is auto. And we have our remarks. Uh, you don't have to fill up any of this. So, now, here's the flight plan you'll get so we do the so right here are the in route waypoints here are the here's this this is called the star um, standard 
terminal arrival route. So this star is called Iron Man 1. I'm going to get a copyright strike. Um, and our departure, our SIDS, our um, standard in instrument departure, is the Westlaw 3. These are not recognized. Like, these two are not recognized by Infinite Flight, as they don't have that in their database. So, either we can we can just use its flight maps. I zoomed out too far. So we have all of this. So this is our um, start of our arrival route. This is our in route where he points these two. Here's our top of climb. Or no, Susie, sorry. Um, they don't t tell us our top of climb. But here is our arrival route. So somewhere here is where it will say top of descent because that's where you descend there. So we have our distance, yeah. Um, so, like I said, you can just manually enter them by using the flight map or the flight log. I prefer using the flight map. But these two is a must, though, in route waypoints. So after you get all of that filled out, uh, you can generate your flight plan. And before I do, I'll disable the winds because I don't need them I'm flying solo. And right here you have options, but I'm going to use this. So we go all the way up. Then you click on Generate Flight Plan. Oh, and by the way, you have to get an account to uh, get all this fancy stuff. Oh. So Generate Flight Plan, you'll get this message. I don't know why. And then we just wait for it to generate. So we now we are generated into our flight plan. So if you go here, Here's our flight plane summary. Oops. Um, here's our airline. Yep, as we filled all that. And like I said, flight level 390 we're expecting. Here's our date depart. We don't matter. This doesn't matter. Um, flight air time. Now, block fuel. I'm using pounds because South, it's Southwest Airlines. So you put that into your uh, weight section. The zero fuel weight doesn't really matter because it doesn't match the... Um, same does say goes to the takeoff weight. It doesn't match on um, what's shown on Infinite Flight. So here's our routes. And if you see DCT, that means it's direct. So you don't have to. There's no need to enter DCT into the um flight plan. And we have our little remarks, and it's automatically filled because I disabled the uh, what you call it the winds. So. We have the Lido format, yeah. So, we have our flight map. So, yeah, here's the paperwork that we're going to get. So, this is our cruise altitude. Here's our block fuel. Or, yeah, block fuel. The total fuel we're going to use. And this is what we should load. Plus some extra if you want extra, because if you don't feel confident with your fuel. So, we have all of this. We have Mario. Um, so here's our alternative routing, which will be filled, which is not needed for this. Then here's our routing. So right here. Um, oh, I got it. Okay, so I, there's our departure airport. Here's our departure runway. Here's our SID. Transition to eBay. Then direct to burgle and then Iron Man 1 arrival or star uh, on 25 left LAX and then here we have and if you want to end and then this is also important so if you want to load your passengers you have to put this value in the weight section of the sim then you put this much cargo and keep in mind they're all pounds so yeah Here's our payload, so this is times a thousand. This is our zero fuel weight in pounds. And here's our fuel we'll need, so 14,000 pounds. Take off weight, same as all that. So here it is. So if you want to enter your SID, just take them from here. So Westla is our um, what we enter. 
for our departure, then we enter Porte and then Suze. The TOC or top of climb uh, is basically when you're going to level off. So, in this case, when we get our level off, we do not get the speed from here. We get it from here. Because this is based off of the cost index, so it's 20. So, the higher the cost index, the higher you, the speed. So, you get the top of climbs. Uh, speed, but it's different from this. This is the actual speed we're going to cruise throughout the flight, so Mach 0.77. And right here is our top of descent, so we'll maintain that. And then we're going to maintain Mach 0.78 for a while, but we are, we'll be descending. Like, we'll speed up before the descent, we speed up to this speed until crossover. Then we, and then if you want the stars, you can fill them all out. Just get those waypoints, like those I'm highlighting. Um, the gripper, picking, run, yeah, and all that. So now with that done, now I'll hop on into the sim, and then I'll show you how it's done. Okay, now we have loaded into the simulator. The first thing you want to do is turn on the position lights, so the nav lights. Then we enter our basic routing info, so SFO to LAX, so we know where we are going or what we're planning for. The next thing we need to do is load our fuel. So we take our block fuel and divide it by two, so we have our wing tank fuel, and it should be 6,983 pounds for both sides. We leave out the center tank because it is not needed for this flight and make sure that synchronized option is off. Next we load the passengers. So right now according to the flight plan we have 131 passengers so we put that um, into that. And then we load our cargo so we multiply what it shows by a thousand so we get 500 pounds and we keep that synchronized. After you're done, check your your total weight. It shouldn't really match because it's infinite flight and not all of the stuff is accurate. If you want an accurate weight, you can shift your cargo. So now we're done loading, we will calculate our takeoff speed. So we're going to change our units to kilograms because the chart I'm going to be using will use kilograms. So the, um, right now we are about 53 tons. So with the chart we're going to see in a bit, um, we will be taking off with flaps 5. Um, we're going to round it to the nearest half of each ton, 10 tons. So we are in the 55 category A. So our V1 is 138, VR or rotation is 139, and our V2 is 146 knots, indicated airspeed. Oh, and make sure you get your seatbelt signs on after you load. So make sure you preset your speed to 166, so basically your V2 plus 20. This is the voice reduction speed. It's effective in most areas, especially for San Francisco, so it's important for you to set that. You'd also want to set your runway heading, so if ATC says fly runway heading, you can just fly on that runway heading. Our cruise altitude for today will be flight level 390 according to the flight plan. Okay, now that we have everything all set, we will start putting in our flight plan. So we're going to do the Westla 3 departure out of San Francisco. So we enter in Westla, then Porte, and then Suze. Okay, then here is our departure. We have Westla, we have Porte, and Suze. Then we enter our in route waypoints, which is eBay and Burgle. So both of those in route waypoints are transitions. So you can see here it is all set. And now time to put in our arrival. So, of course, we get that from our flight map, so 
Then we enter in Dowit, Crowy, Mupt. Then Medots, Griper, Biking, Run, Iron Man, Simon, Based, Juice, Dadger, and Gatto. Now the arrival road has been loaded. Now we gotta select our approach into runway 25 left in Los Angeles. So, as you can see here, we're gonna do the Arnav Zulu runway 25 left approach. So, we would have to go to Fodig. So, it adds an extension. Then we're gonna turn base. We're gonna turn right base to Wavud. Then Lima to be in line with the runway on localizer. And then we go down from there. And then we select the waypoint that's on the runway threshold and we put it there to stay on localizer. And this is how you file a flight plan. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.